Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Allahumma salli ala Sayyid Muhammad wa alayhi wa sallam. Wa sallam. Welcome to this latest update on uh, MCC construction. Uh, we, did, we did an update about uh, a month and a half ago, and we're right now in the last 10 days of Ramadan, the Ramadan Kareem. And may all of you have a very blessed last 10 days. Uh, we're going to give you a, a detailed update on construction. And when I say we, it's Sayyid Bhai um, and myself. I'll cover a little bit of the higher level, and then Sayyid Bhai will go into some of the details of the construction plan and how we get, plan to get from here to there. So before we start, we should show you our vision statement. And this is a doc, this is, uh, it hasn't really changed since I would say going back to 2007. So I'm not gonna go through the details. The reason I put this up, this is a good way to think about, and the language we use is sort of the dot on the wall. And that is to say, what are we, aim, what, what are we at MCC trying to aim for? So that's our vision. Uh, I actually want to go in a little more detail on our strategic priorities. Again, most of these have, have not changed, but there are a handful that have sort of come and risen to the top. And a good way of thinking about this is post-COVID. Uh, We've seen just a great amount of growth here at MCC itself, and also the environment uh, in which you know, we all live has changed, and specifically, I mean, the, the entire, as an example, the entire uh, gender thing that's you know, caused many, many of us to want to have more control of our education. So here are strategic priorities. I won't go through all of them. I actually want to just highlight the ones on the left-hand side that have to do with, uh, if you see, uh, the first one is K through five. We've actually, uh, K through five has been on our list uh, since we put our bylaws together, going back when we first founded um, MCC. But what you'll see there is because of the growth, another priority we've raised is not just having Sunday school, but also having a Saturday school. As we go through our presentation today, we'll give you a sense of how we're gonna approach, approach that. And then the last one here to, to talk about as new is a really, really important one. And it came to focus when a few, uh, a few uh, last year, and last summer when we were trying to get the land uh, purchased. And we decided not to, but we realized the critical need of really, really having a middle school and a high school available uh, for our community. So inshallah, that is now uh, on our list of priorities. We don't have a date yet. Obviously, we're gonna uh, start looking at well, what the requirements are, look what property is available, and start that process. But it'll take, it'll take, a, uh, it'll take a long time. With that, let me kick off our, our MCC, what we're calling MCC 3.0. Uh, three, uh, if you think about 3.0, 1.0 had to do with when we just founded MCC, 2.0 had to do with being in this building, uh, and 3.0 has to do with what we're going to be doing, and specifically accelerating our growth. And we've been in a hyper-incremental mode, and what we need to do is move forward to go into a hyper-growth mode so that we can have this facility completely redone uh, for future needs. So with that, uh, in the past uh, year or two, we've been talking about our construction plans. So we have now more detail. And before I go into this, I think um, it is fair to say, uh, particularly when you talk about, uh, by the way, we've, got, we've broken this down into package one, two, and three, and Saeed will talk about the specific uh, uh, reasons why these are called package one, two, and three in a bit. But package one has to do with everything we want to do on the outside. And that, as we've told you, I think for two years now, has been a picnic area, a trellis, barbecue, a basketball court, a park course, outside window stations, a children's play structure, a play field, and, a, and then the parking lot gets rechanged and we have some EV stations coming. Package two, which will be after package one, these are sequential, will be everything we're doing in the, in uh, the building inside. Now, the really, really important thing about this that we haven't really emphasized is we're actually going to build a second story. And the second story will be a little bit about where the uh, ladies' area begins and all the way back um, 
uh, from there. The second story is adding 1,400,000 square feet, and it allows us to have both a Saturday and Sunday school, and also administrative offices up there and so forth. With that, you free up the place downstairs, you get additional conference rooms, we have space for both male and female lounges, along with a sort of gym incorporated, uh, a parent-child room with a specific area for kids to play in, a library, a senior lounge, and the main prayer area gets uh, redone, the uh, ceiling gets raised, a mehrab uh, member sort of get put in place. And then last but not least is package three, which has everything to do with food. Uh, the dining, the dining, if you will, so it, uh, that specifically means a dining hall, and it means a cafe, both a covered aspect, uncovered aspect, and then a, a patio. So those are the um, packages, and before I ask Saeed Bhai to get up and talk about how we actually construct these, I do want to say uh, you know, it's taken us much longer than we expected. Uh, our expectations and the expectations we set for you were that, la that by end of last year we would have this done. So uh, my apologies on behalf of everybody here at MCC and certainly myself of um, we should have done a better job communicating in terms of all the steps we need to go through to get there. Having said that, I feel really good where we are today and uh, Brother Say is going to get up and give us uh, the process from here going forward. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Thank you, Brother Perez, for the brief introduction uh, to the slides. Uh, I'm going to walk you through the rest of the process for construction and where we are today. The slide that you see that's uh, on, the, on the screen, the package one, package two, and package three, the construction project itself is pretty large, to say the least and we decided to break it up into packages, uh, as you see, one, two, and three. Part of the reason, uh, I should say maybe the, most of the reason, was to have these packages in such form so they are, we are able to get the approvals through the Hacienda Association as well as the city uh, in a in a normal and a sequential manner, such that one package does not hold back any of the other packages. Uh, if there is a problem uh, of one package being delayed, this allows us to move forward with the other packages uh, being worked on in parallel. What you see uh, on the left-hand side on the slide, uh, the CUP modification. By the way, CUP stands for Conditional Use Permit, which is granted by the city, and we operate MCC under a Conditional Use Permit. Some of the changes that we are doing today may require a CUP modification, uh, which we are uh, very, uh, I, I should say, working hard to avoid because that just adds delay to the whole process. You have to go back to the city. It may require public hearings uh, and all that, and of course, the delay that associated with all the uh, added uh, requirements. As you can see, package one has, we, we, we are not required to have the CUP modification Hacienda Owners Association has approved package one, and we are in the second round of uh, our uh, approvals with the city. Uh, another two weeks, we are expecting a response on our second round. Uh, as you can see, we have taken the liberty to start some construction for this package and mostly uh, we have done the stuff which does not require any uh, city approvals or inspections, uh, like the cleanup and uh, putting in some pavers, uh, uh, opening up some additional doors uh, in the lobby uh, that you uh, see recently. Package two, uh, CP not required, association approval in hand, 
and we are planning to apply for uh, this approval with the city uh, uh, the week of uh, April 8th. And again, uh, this is uh, the, the, we have not started the construction on this yet because all this work requires uh, city uh, inspections and we cannot start without uh, a permit in hand. Package three, uh, we have not heard back from the city yet as to a CUP modification is required or not, but uh, we do have a verbal approval from the association. We are hoping to apply with the city uh, the week of uh, April 15th. And again, the construction on this has not started. Uh, a, 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 you know, in a conversation I had with uh, our structural engineer who, is, uh, who works out of his home office in Idaho. Uh, he was here on a visit to the site to come up with the design of with the, uh, he wanted to look at the actual building before he uh, dived into the design for the, uh, for the second story uh, addition. Uh, he asked, he wanted to add some rooms to his home, to his farm in Idaho. He went to the county and uh, asked for permission and the county said, uh, you know, it's your home, you can do whatever you want to do with it. Uh, I hope, <laughs> we wish we were in that situation, but uh, we do have codes and rules and regulations to follow. But, and they are there for a good reason, I'm sure. And uh, so here we are. Uh, we, we don't have that uh, luxury to be able to do that. Anyway, um, so that's where we are today. As you can also see, we have put some numbers for the approximate costs. Uh, each pack, the package one is around 500K, and this is most of the stuff outside. Uh, we are hoping, uh, and we are trying to get this done by the fall of this year. Since the, uh, we are in round two with the city approvals, and we have also started to do some construction. Uh, the package two is we are hoping to start this fall, hoping to have all the uh, approvals in hand, be able to start. And this is the large ticket item. Uh, it's it's 1.6 million plus. And then of course, uh, the same goes for package three, which we have not started yet. Uh, these are just visuals of uh, rendering, visual renderings of what the uh, MCC would look like after we add the second floor. Uh, and and it just to, it's also a requirement by the city and the association that we, uh, we produce these renderings so they can have a visual sense of what, what uh, the building is going to look like. Uh, with that, I'd like to hand it back over to Brother Pervez uh, to continue with the rest of the presentation. Thank you very much. Said Bhai, thank you so much. So we're going to move on to financials, and I want to step back and talk about what we've, been, uh, what we've sort of raised, how much we've raised, and how much we've spent. So first of all, not just now, but if you look back the last five years, so this is beginning with uh, COVID, actually the year before COVID, uh, 2019 through now, uh, we've raised uh, about $900,000 plus. And on the right-hand side of this slide, you can, you can see where that money has been spent. A lot of that money actually has been spent uh, uh, in the last, uh, last year. And if you look at the top line, uh, the, roof, uh, the roof changes we made, because uh, it was leaking before, uh, the HVAC that we put in, the parking lot changes, fire alarm, et cetera, the consulting, the maintenance. That by itself, the stuff you don't see, is about 50, almost 50%, because things in the lobby also that you don't see, which it has to do with the, the HVAC ducting that's redone, the electrical, the, met, the metal sheeting, et cetera. 
Uh, if you add all that up, all, more than 50% is stuff you don't see. And then there's all the stuff that you see at the bottom here on the right-hand side. Now, if this is so much, how, this is how much was spent, the question then is how much have you raised and how much you have to do what you say you're gonna do. So construction funds available. If you look at the bottom chart here, this is donations by year. And if you notice, uh, last year, 2023, we really did not ask for money for building. And we did not because, uh, for the construction fund. And we did not because, frankly, we had raised some money and we didn't deliver to what we thought we were going to deliver to. So in the past five years, we've raised uh, about $800,000. You may ask, how do we spend $900,000 if you only raised $800,000? And uh, that has really to do with two things. How much do we have money beforehand? And then also some of the rental income we get uh, also goes uh, to fund uh, mostly uh, the building fund and sometimes also the operations fund. So do we feel better? I think the question is, you know, we're behind. Why do you think you can actually get this done, inshallah, by fall or by the end of this year? I'm talking about package one, which is all the outside stuff. Well, there are three things that are really required to get this done. One is uh, you gotta know exactly what you're getting done, what you have to get done. Two is you gotta have people that actually get, can get the work done. Three, you need permits. And four, you, have, you need the dollars. Three out of those four we have. The permit process is well along for the outside. And inshallah, inshallah, uh, make, please make the offer for this, that in this next round, uh, with the city, they approve the outside, and then we have, the, here's the important point, we have $550,000 available, and we, need, we think we may need about 500. We have $550,000 available to get the first, to get phase one, uh, package one done. And remember, package one is all the stuff we talked about outside, and particularly the basketball court, which I think there's a lot of uh, demand for from, from the youth. Now, stepping back, what Saeed Bhai just said is, well, that's package one. We still have quite a lot to do with package two and package three. For package two, we're going to need plus or minus 1.6 to 1.7 million dollars. And what we don't want to do is get through package one, have no money, and wait to raise money, and raise a bit of money, and then say we're going to start package two. So uh, our objective is inshallah, to raise and have at least $200,000 now and before we start. Uh, and then in the fall, we'll do another major uh, 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 fundraiser. But our objective is, since we are in Ramadan, we'd like to ask you, alhamdulillah, uh, since we're going to be raising money uh, later this year, please give some money now. It will make us feel a lot more comfortable that we have money at hand before we start uh, the next phase. That's all, that's all for our quick update here. Inshallah, um, uh, you'll see some progress uh, this fall. I have everything here done outside, and we can start then working towards uh, package two and package three. Your du'as, of course, are all requested, and I want to thank Saeed Bhai and the entire team. Uh, Saeed Bhai does this uh, pro bono, uh, and completely pro bono and has been doing, does incredible work with him and his team. Uh, and that's just, that's the people who do the construction work and there are a whole bunch of uh, volunteers, as you know, at MCC, and we're very, 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 very thankful. And we're also thankful to you for your patience and your trust in us. And inshallah, we'll make this a fantastic place for our youth and inshallah for our seniors also, and for everybody. Jazakumullah khair, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.